Good morning, folks. How are you? Ron Bishop from Timberoo, New Zealand here again. You're not sick of me yet, are you? <laughs> I love this job. I've got the best job in the world. I reckon I'm, I'm 72 years of age and I reckon I'm in the last 30 years of my life and it's going to be the best 30 years of my life. Because I'm doing stuff that I love doing. I love getting in front of a camera. I love taking photographs. I love promoting people. I love people. I, I, there's some wonderful people out there. But there's always some that will ruin it for others, isn't there? And I've just had one of, another one of those people. Do you know Jackie, what's her name, Butler? they got a fruit farm. What's her name? Butler's Berry Farm and Cafe. Donald and Jackie Butler. Well, Jackie Butler, nice lady. I met her two or three times. Kept going in there trying to sell her stuff. But she, she was always making promises. She was going to do this and she was going to do that. She told me she was going to get some cows and paint the cows and put them on the side of the road. She was going to play bloody Mary Hell. And I swallowed her on all this, you see. I, I thought, oh, this is, this is good. And I thought I'd be able to promote her business, a berry farm, because it would be educational for young people, you know, to see how jams and sauces and that were made and where the strawberries come from. So I did a deal with her, you see. And the deal was that she'd pay me $575, but she didn't want to pay me straight away. She wanted to pay me in January. I would do the, I'd do the job in December, uh, and, but she wanted to pay me in January, you see. And I went down the road and I met another guy um, <laughs> that owns a pub, and he paid me straight away. He got the checkbook out straight away because he could see the value in what I was doing, you see. So he paid me straight away. So I thought, well, that's good. If people are going to pay me straight away, I'll get everybody to pay me straight away, up front, you see. And we won't have, need any contracts. We won't have to sign any contracts. I'll just give them a GST invoice and away we go. But you see, this is 2013. And just a minute, there's the phone again. That'll be, that'll be Jackie for sure. Guess who that was? You wouldn't believe it. Another business. What the hell's their name? I'm supposed to go down there today and video it. Well, tomorrow I was going to go down and video it. The pub. What's the name of that pub? God, just a minute. You know who the phone call was from? Viv Lewis. Now, Viv Lewis is the manager of the Makiki Centre Country Hotel. Right? Now, remember I said I, I, they were going to video it? They gave me the check for $575 up front. Well, and I was going to have a, uh, uh, a party in their pub. I was going to get all the people, uh, the wood people, the timber people to come into their pub on the 7th. They'd booked it in because it run, Viv, and she said, that'll be a good idea. We'll have a uh, fancy dress party. Everybody can uh, dress up as um, <laughs> a bushman, you see. Well, she rings me up and says, no, they can't do it now because the, they, they just realised they've got a family um, a wedding and they have to be at the family wedding, so they can't, they can't have the party. And then she rings me this morning and says, oh, well, uh, the, the builders have been in the ripped all the bar out. There's no bar here. It's out of the vest at the moment. You can't do it. And straight away I smelled a rat. And I said to her, Viv, is this... Is this another one of your excuses? How many excuses have you got? Well, then she let it all hang out, didn't she? She said, I've got people ringing me up saying don't have anything to do with you. The mayor of Waibati rang her up, she said, and said don't have anything to do with Ron Bishop. He's a con man. <laughs> I'm a con man. So I'm arguing with on the phone and Bruce, who owns the pub, picks up the phone. You see, because he's sitting there listening. And he said, listen, you can't do it, Ron. You can come down and have a look if you like. It, 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 the bar's all ripped out. I don't know what the bloody hell's happened. There wasn't any storm or nothing. And I said, what about this check? Will you bounce the check? He said, no, we're still going to do it, but we can't do it now. Now, I have to take the guy's word for it. He was good enough to give me the check up front. I have to take his word. 
And perhaps there is something wrong. Perhaps they have got right excuses. But by Jesus, they got people ringing me out, ringing them up and saying, don't pay Ron Bishop because he's a bad bugger. This is not going to end here, I can tell you. I can tell you, I will have them licking out of my bloody hands because I'll crucify those people in my Matty. Who the hell does the bear, mere Craig Rowley think he is? I got him into... I voted for him. I put it, I put him on YouTube. I promoted him on YouTube. That's how he became the bloody mayor. And now he's putting it across me. You go and try and see him and he won't even see you. He's too busy. You have to make it a bloody an appointment. Can't see him in his bloody jeweler shop. That why Maddie by Jesus it needs a good kick up the bum, those people. I'll straighten it out. Don't you worry. Leave it to Ronnie B. I'll sort the buggers out. <laughs> Friday today, what a bloody great day. You like Fridays? Weekend coming up. Boy, have I got a good sermon for you on Sunday. <laughs> Don't forget to listen to a Christian sermon every Sunday. And tomorrow, of course, I go around with... I can't go around promoting the sport because the South Canterbury Rugby Team uh, uh, organisation, South Canterbury Rugby Union, and the Netball Association, all the... Association people, they're all running around saying Ron Bishop is just out of the mental hospital. He's a mad bugger. <laughs> I love it. I've never had so much fun in all my life. Listen, I've got to go put this up because you need to laugh. It's a, it's the biggest joke in the bloody country. See you later. Bye-bye.